Next week, a group of Minnesotans will make a special trip to the United Kingdom to make a donation to the Church of England. So 25 years ago, the St. John's Bible became the first handwritten, hand-illuminated, monumental Bible to be commissioned by a Benedictine monastery in over 500 years. And now, one of the 12 fine art reproductions of the original manuscript will be presented to the church in uh, memory of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Reverend Dr. John Ross is with us now from St. John's. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Aaron gave that little bit of an introduction yes. for us, but if you yeah. could just explain, I mean, Look this at is this incredible, yeah. the artwork too. What really is the St. John's Bible and then specifically the Heritage Program? Yeah, well, the St. John's Bible, as you said in the intro, is the first handwritten, hand-illuminated, monumental Bible to be commissioned by Benedictine Abbey in almost 500 years, right? Uh, a long-time art form went by the wayside with the invention of the printing press, mm -hmm. right? So that was the original manuscript. There's only one of those in the world. It's up on campus this in Collegeville, Minnesota. <laughs> this is the Heritage Edition. Also uh, very costly, also uh, very rare, uh, but not only one. They made 299 of these seven volume sets. And this before you is the Gospel and Acts volume of one of those seven volume sets. And what did it take? I mean, you talked about several people worked to bring yeah. this to life. What did it take? Yeah, there wasn't just one scribe sitting on a stool mm -hmm. writing this whole thing. There was a team of seven scribes and seven artists that created the entire content uh, of the Bible on vellum using all medieval techniques wow. and seven artists that contributed these 160 major illuminations uh, throughout the whole Bible from start to finish. Start to finish being how many years? Uh, 15 years, really, 15. from the official commissioning to when it was when it was done. Why do this? Well, that was the question posed to um, the leadership up at St. John's University and Abbey, um, and it was really to to reinitiate this lost art form mm -hmm. of handwritten manuscripts, specifically uh, of the Bible. Uh, you know, over 1,500 years, the Benedictines had been doing that. But it was also to mark the occasion of the new millennium, of the year 2000, and, and to bring a Bible for the 21st century to life on the page um, that would also represent the values of the Benedictine tradition of hospitality, inclusion, environmentalism. You'll find all these themes throughout the St. John's Bible. What is the significance of the big trip coming up to Great Britain? Well, if you zoom way out, we're going over because we all know that the world is in strife in lots of places due to religious, um, uh, you know, wars and, and, and uh, conflicts. But this Bible is bringing together different religions. And if you think about it for a second, a group of Catholics is taking a Bible and giving it as a gift, a precious Bible, giving it as a gift to members of the Church of England and the Anglican Communion. That's a remarkable ecumenical moment in history. Uh, if you zoom in a little closer, you'll know that this whole thing was created principally in Wales by Donald Jackson, who was the creative director behind the whole project. So we're bringing it home in that regard. Mm -hmm. But it's also the mission of the St. John's Bible to ignite the spiritual imagination of people around the world of all faith journeys. So to have such a significant moment in time in the United Kingdom and in the Anglican Communion uh, is a great thing for our mission. Where can people see the St. John's Bible? Well, we have a beautiful gallery up on campus in Collegeville, St. John's University. Um, they can also find all the different locations on our website, the Heritage Edition uh, website, where locations literally all around the world, of those 299 that were created, uh, 170 of those have already been placed in institutions and in individuals' homes around the world. Yeah, so not just uh, if you're a certain religion, but anyone interested in religion. History. Right? Yeah, yeah, would yeah be I mean, manifestly, it's a piece of art, but it's, uh, it's a Bible. And individuals and institutions alike have found ways to allow this to enrich their lives and to deepen their faith. Uh, and to just appreciate the beauty of the art. Nice. Are you going to England? I am. Okay, That's nice. Exciting. When do you leave? Tomorrow, right about <laughs> okay, now. Okay, here. We'll pack you got this a way up to go. With you. Very yes. safe, too. Precious cargo. All right, Indeed. thank you so much for being Thank here. you.